with our Epicure ingredients for fajitas and guacamole and salsa. So this is my first time doing the chocolate pudding, but I wanted to try that with you guys too. And hopefully we have a few of you waiting already here uh, watching. Uh, my daughter Sa Sapphire is videotaping for me. So hi Sapphire. Hi. She's usually my comedian. All right, well, let's start some pudding first. Oh, I should have pre-cut this already. I'm trying to get things ready and I didn't remember everything. All right. I like those scissors, by the way. Oh yeah, have you used them? I did, they were nice. Yes, they are. All right, mm. this is our Epicure chocolate pudding. And all that I need is this pouch, two cups of milk, and we're going to beat it. Beat it. Beat it. Waste not, want not, I always say. All right, I have our prep bowls from Epicure and they are actually measuring cups, let's see. Can you see the measures? Oh, there? your phone is way too close, so you're good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see the measures? Let's see, the measures themselves, uh, kind of? Okay. There we go. <laughs> You can make this with almond milk, and you can make it, of course, with cow's milk. You can make it with any other nut milk, oat milk. Uh, I am low on oat milk, so I'm doing a lactose-sensitive uh, type of milk. Say hi to Suzanne. Hey, Suzanne! We're going to make some pudding! Alright, so now I'm just going to beat it. Beat it! See what you did. I'm sorry. Uh, whip it, whip it real good. Yeah. Do 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 do. <laughs> we obviously have no life. We're all music. Music okay. is life. Thank you. Music. I thought food was life. Same difference. Just whisking this together. Now, being Epicure, it's also going to be low sugar. Let's see if I can see what it tells me on the side. Total carbs on this is 14 grams, 5%, let's see, and I'm going to do half cup container, so it's going to be actually 18 grams, which is 7%, so that's not bad on carbohydrates, because I have a diabetic in the house, and she watches her carbs. Yes. All right. I love carbs. Yeah, but they don't love you. But they're my friends. We do have 60 milligrams of uh, sodium in this one. Make sure we get all the chocolate pudding. Now, when you make this from uh, store-bought chocolate pudding mixes, you're going to have a lot more sugar. You're going to have a lot more sodium. But worse yet, you're going to have a lot more of those... Uh, artificial colors, those, you know, red dye, yellow dye, to create the chocolate color. So. You mean the worst song in the blob? Brown. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is all nice and incorporated, and I am just going to put this in the refrigerator to set up. The whole thing? It doesn't go into cups? It will go into cups, but I'm gonna let it set a little, settle a little bit. Patty says she loves your hair. <laughs> I was at my doctor's appointment today and she said the same thing. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna go work on our salsa. So I already added the diced tomatoes in here. I didn't think that anyone wanted to watch me cut tomatoes. And according to this, we are going to put two tablespoons of this mix. And our mix is the poco picante. So I actually take a smidgen of this with me when I go to restaurants. Stop moving, thank you. And not a sprinkle <laughs> because some places their salsa is just not very flavorful. All right, two tablespoons. I'm gonna use our four and one measure, which fits very nicely into the jars. I'm wondering if I should have done this from in front of you. I'm so close to you. Back up. I, I can't, I'm gonna hit the door. Um, you could go over the That's what I'm saying. I wonder if I should have done it from over there. Okay, let's see. Moving, moving, Two moving. Moving my seasoning aside. 
and oh, much better. A squeeze of lime. And this is a two-in-one citrus press. The yellow side is going to be your lemon. The green side is the lime. Squeezes in really nicely, as you can see. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Yay. I like to get every drop of juice I can, which this actually does really well. And I get a little uh, saucer that comes out. Nope, nothing else came out of there. Alright, and I believe that was it, right? Just the lime. Yep, the lime and the tomatoes and the mix. So this is going to be called done. Hi, Kitty. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Hi. Who's a good girl? And I'm just mixing the tomatoes, the lime juice, and the poco picante. And I'm just going to let these flavors group together and get married. Do, 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 do. Is it a Vegas wedding? It's a Vegas wedding. They're going to run off? Yeah, baby. All right. So next is guacamole. And our guacamole says it's basically a tablespoon per avocado. Let's see, two ripe uh, avocados with three tablespoons of dip mix. I think I'm going to do two because the last time I had it, it was two was perfect. And, of course, the lime and guacamole. Guacamole. This comes in our uh, Mexican kit. So... And look how easy it is to take our avocado out of the shell. Ta da! It just nicely scoops. It has kind of a rounded spoon side in here. What a beautiful kitty. She is pretty, isn't she? That's Sadie. That's Sadie. She's gorgeous. <gasps> Sadie knows she's a gorgeous girl. Hi. <laughs> And I'm, I'm her human. Every cat in the house has their own human. Okay. I'm going to say, knowing Sapphire, she'll find a picture of, of dogs, like one behind her. <laughs> yeah, they're not coming up. There's one right there. I'm not going to turn around. Okay. Uh, I will, however. Wow. guacamole you can see that it's all the, the fresh herbs are all nice and, and real let's see what is in here you are seeing some onion sea salt red bell pepper garlic spices herbs and chilies so very simplistic on our ingredients and i'm going to use our meat separator to turn it into guacamole oh i still have to do the lime i thought you did the lime is that something else i did lime in the salsa got it now we do the lime and the guacamole and shake it all up. We're starving, so apparently that makes our humor a little... <clears throat> <laughs> oh, I used to do stand-up comedy, for those who didn't know. So, yes, I've been on stage at the Orlando Improv Comedy House. And um, been on stage actually several times. A few other places, too, but that's where I did most of my comedy. Well, I was worried that these weren't going to uh, chop up very well because one of them was still a little touch firm. But nope, it is doing a great job. And on our ground meat separator, the, we have three blades, which actually beat this up really well. It makes it super easy. I'm doing this inside of the Epicure uh, four cup uh, bowl here. So that is what you see me using. Actually, I probably should be doing this while this is cooking. So probably. Two seconds here to get the fajitas going. All right. We already have our chicken in here. We have onion, peppers, and we're going to do two tablespoons of this, of the fajita seasoning. Again, it is Yay. in the uh, kit. Okay. Now remember, most of these uh, are low salt. Some of them are no salt. So if you need sodium, you're going to have to add it yourself. I don't remember this one did, do you? Sodium? Yeah. There is no salt in here. Oh, wait. No. 
So we did add some to this yeah, one. Yeah, we did for this one. All right, so let's grab a little salt. I'm looking at your light. There we go. Don't look at the light. Don't look at the light. Walk away from the light. <laughs> All right. And I just put the top on, pointing the vents away from me and away from the handles. And I'm just going to give it a little shake to help disperse some of the uh, seasonings in here. Who needs a shake weight? Ooh, a shake weight. Hmm. <laughs> You'll have to help me because I can't remember the name of that one. Does it say it on the handle? <laughs> no. As you know, I'm actually very new with Epicure. Um, I discovered it because I found out, well, maybe in the past year, that food makes me sick. Well, I've always known food makes me sick. But I was going to say, that's not been the past year. But finding out what food makes me sick was actually in the past year. Yeah. This is 2020. Okay. Uh, early 2020, Okay. Anyway, so I found out food makes me sick, which apparently it does to many people. And Epicure, because it doesn't have the artificial ingredients, it doesn't have ingredients that don't belong in here. So there's no something something glutamate, there's no MSG, there's no parabens, uh, there's no uh, fr corn fructose syrups. It is just real ingredients. And yes, people can be allergic to what's real, and I am to a few things that, that uh, Epicure would have if it has eggs in it, let's say. But they don't have nuts. There is no nuts, which I'm allergic to pretty much every nut. The almonds, the walnuts, the peanuts. I can't even do almond milk. Dairy is a sensitivity for me, so I do the um, low lactose type of milk. The oat milk's not bad. So, no, the oat milk is actually pretty good. There is our lovely guacamole. Mmm, baby vomit. <laughs> Saffar does not like. Saffar does not like guacamole. Let's see, our salsa. Just giving it a little stir up. And basically, all the uh, seasonings and herbs are just reconstituting in here. They're, you know, real onion pieces, real garlic pieces. You can actually see them. Yes, yeah, so you can actually see the uh, the reel, and they are reconstituting with the tomatoes liquid as well as the lime juice that I put in here. Apparently, I need another order of more of these four cup bowls since I had to go through my pantry and look for something to put everything in. And let's see. Oh, let's go. Our pudding is in the refrigerator, but it probably should be there at a good 10 minutes. And our fajitas have a couple more minutes. Um, our steamer, the multi-purpose steamer, as you saw that I put everything in, is food grade silicone. And it actually locks in all the nutrients that are in your foods that you are microwaving. And uh, there's actually an article done, let's see, I'm trying to remember who did it. It was approved by Congress. I can't remember who did the article, but the article basically is stating that microwave food is safe. Uh, that yes, you uh, keep the nutrients in there. Yes, you do not need to add extra water and water it down because the food actually is going to put its own juices in there. So the chicken uh, and the peppers and the onions, I didn't add any water as you saw. I didn't add anything liquid, um, but they are going to create their own juice. So that is how they are going to be nice and moist when they're done. Um, let's see. It is, oh, it is a um, very light silicone, so it's a little 
flimsy, it twists and turns so I can pour things out. And I can use it in the oven uh, on a cookie sheet. I can use it, I can put it in my dishwasher and it freezes, which is really great because it does so many different things. We do now have in stock the round uh, steamer as well. That one is in more of a firm body and that one you can put into the oven as well and it doesn't, uh, it doesn't flip flop a little bit. So it's a little bit more firm body for those who want to have a firmer uh, base, basically. Is this a commercial for Viagra? <laughs> you said it. I'm sorry. I won't. I'll shut up. Hmm. Okay. But I want a firmer base. <laughs> with me I will send you a sample of something uh, not these two because these are this week's meals uh, I did get the three-week meal set so this is going to be this week's meals made with a bunch of chicken that I had shredded for me at the grocery store so I don't have to get any chicken blood anywhere Woo! <laughs> chicken blood is gross but I do have some meals in the pantry and I'll show you how I store them so that you can see how you can have an idea for yours very simplistic the packets are all stored here. They're separated with a little separation. These are my giveaways for uh, prizes or for hostesses. And then the ones that we have for the week. And everybody wants to see, right? Dessert. We just made these uh, last week. They were delicious. Mm -hmm. I did it with cheesecake. And then I have the cupcake, a couple of them. The chocolate mud pie, which Chrissy just made. It looked gorgeous. Um, let's see. The chocolate fudge. It's a sauce. And another chocolate fudge. So some of these actually came in my kit that I had gotten when I joined. And some of them came in the three-week meal set. All right. Let's take a look at see how our chicken is looking. Vents are away from me. Opening it also away from me. I'm going to stir it up and then put it back in for a couple more minutes. <laughs> that chocolate anything looks really good. <laughs> <laughs> the chocolate anything? Uh -huh. Well, we have the chocolate pudding we made tonight. Okay, I still see some pink in here. I only did five minutes. I think that they said five to seven or something like that on there. But I like to stir it up mid midway as well. It looks pretty. So I actually use poblano peppers, the green ones and a couple of different uh, bell peppers. I did orange and yellow. All right, we're gonna stick that back in for a couple more minutes. I'm trying not to bore you guys to tears. I wanna make sure I'm doing something and saying something while I'm also doing this. All right, who's on there with me? Uh, Betty and Winnie. Betty! Betty just made, um, General Tao, actually the same day I did, I sent her that one as her trial, and her pictures are beautiful, so in the group, if you want to look up General Tao or just Betty's name, you will see the one that she made, and I believe a picture of mine, and I think Suzanne might have shared hers um, as, as well, and maybe Chrissy will share hers as well. Um, and those of you just said, oh, Winnie! Winnie, you're going to be making that speedy lasagna, right? So if you host a party from this party, giving credit to your hostess, um, then I can send you a sample of the speedy lasagna. I ordered it recently, and it, it was shipped yesterday. So I don't have it yet. I'm waiting for it to come in the mail. Um, General Tao was so good. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Very <laughs> flavorful. It's like, we, we might most of everything that we've had um yeah yeah you know, there's some that we would tweak a little bit more sapphire's a picky eater so there's veggies that we change out um sometimes just you know kind of like suzanne would probably make it with the, the vegetables that are called for and i usually change it for general how i did asparagus so my picture will have to show asparagus instead of next time we should do asparagus and edamame, oh. and edamame that sounds yummy. right so you know but that's the beauty of epicure you can change it any way you want. Last time I made the fajitas, I did it with steak. Um, this time with chicken strips. Next time maybe I'll just do it with uh, ground chicken or ground beef um, or tofu or shrimp. 
We're never doing tofu. Don't lie to the people. <laughs> okay, you can do it with tofu. <laughs> but that's the, the beauty of it, is you get to change that up. And this could be easily turned into a power bowl instead of the uh, doing it with tortillas. Um, you can, and tortillas can be gluten free. Just let you know that you can buy them gluten free in the grocery store. Oh, let me get a plate back here. You can always make a quinoa power bowl, which, um, you know, power bowls, I love power bowls, by the way. I think power bowls are amazing. I love making quinoa with uh, lemon and tahini vinaigrette mm -hmm. together. And let's see what else goes in that one. Do you remember? Chicken. Chicken with Meyer lemon. Chicken with Meyer lemon on it. And let's see, the quinoa, tomato, oh, feta cheese, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. would be awesome with... Um, with the Epicure Greek seasoning, maybe the Slo Slovakia seasoning, that would be good. Um, I think I've done the Greek seasoning before. And it, just, it makes it just a really good power bowl. So if you're ever looking to make a power bowl, you can always do it with a easy grain like, like that. All right, let's see how our chicken is. I have a tortilla here. Uh, those two. Are we dividing the puppies? They were just looking snuggly and hopeful. All right, let me get get my grip and grab. That sounds like a lawsuit. I gripped and grab. Oh, I still see pink here. Really? I do. Hmm. Okay. If you notice, let's see. Can you see? There's liquid which was created only by the veggies and the chicken. And the chicken was not frozen, so it's not like you know, ice from the chicken. Mm, it smells good though, I really smell it. Daughter who's not a big fan of these kind of flavors probably mm -mm. smells it and doesn't like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I smell peppers. What? I smell lots of peppers. I smell the seasoning. And Seasoning, yes. Mexican cumin seasoning. Ugh. Smells like foot. <laughs> cumin is not foot. Smells like foot. Not foot. Okay, well, it smells like Florida, Ugh. which smells like foot. Well, we live in Florida, and if I said we were moving to, let's say, Texas, where it's snowing right now, and I Don't you cuss at me. We do not use that word in this house, young lady. Back to Minnesota, where there's also snow. We don't ice. use that word. No, there's no snow. That is a bad word. I will wash your mouth out. My mom used to wash my mouth out with palm olive. How about you guys? <laughs> yeah, the palm olive. The, the dishwashing soap that you know, we used to watch on commercials where they soak their fingers. I would have sapphire taste the salsa mm -mm. or the mm -mm. guacamole, mm -mm. but mm -mm. these are mm -mm. definitely not her flavors. So let's see. Should I put them inside the tortilla? Might as well. It's like your chicken should be done soonish. It's so close. <laughs> It'd be easier for a steak since we like that bloody. <laughs> we do like that bloody. Oh, there's my spoon I was using for this. I'm making the, the Mexican flag again. <laughs> Isn't that what you said I made last time? Yes. <laughs> Look how pretty. Now all we need is our meat. <laughs> <laughs> trash. What are you calling trash? You. Garbage. <laughs> all right, Epicure has been around in Canada for 24 years, almost 25. It is actually very new to the United States. I believe I saw that it's been in the United States roughly about a year. So uh, not everybody knows about it. It's not like uh, some of the other direct sales here in the United States where everybody knows about everything. I mean, I, I can't count the number of certain direct sales. I won't name any. That Origami <laughs> Owl that I don't think exists anymore. I don't know if it does or doesn't. Right? <laughs> but they were everywhere. They were. So, yes, you know how it is. But Epicure is new to the States, and uh, being new, I hope it will catch on like wildfire because so many people, like me, have stomach issues and cannot ingest certain things. So I love that I can eat all of this. I know, Suzanne, if you are watching, she you is. love 
all of your Epicure that you've had, and cha-cha chili was your first one, and that one was very delicious chili tasting. Um, if you've gotten the bean enchilada or the just the enchiladas and do it with Dumb. meat, that was really good. That my, was really good. Oh, see, my older daughter, <coughs> oh, she comes over here and she kidnaps some of my seasonings already, so I have a little less to give away to you guys. <laughs> But I order some again, uh, like the one that's coming soon. All right, let's see. Ten seconds to go. I hope that we are all done this time. I'll just eat the chicken medium rare. It'll be fine. Yeah, Quiet. Dead is not my favorite thing. It's not dead. It's just salmonella. <laughs> if you talk to Gordon Ramsay, it's dead. Well, he's just a drama queen. <laughs> you donkey. All right. We're releasing steam away from me. Look at all that steam. Isn't that gorgeous? Mmm. And where'd my grip and grab go? There we go. Well, it gave all the veggies a chance to cook all the way through. Yeah, I was gonna say the veggies look nicer. Ooh, hot. It is so hot. Well, they are definitely cooked. All right. Let's put some of this on here. He just came home from running, so he's gonna get the pleasure of having his first one made for him. We'll give him a poblano. Mmm. Some onion. Ha. <laughs> the only pepper she'll eat is a poblano. Not true. I like jalapenos. Oh, you're right. Now, if I wanted to, I'd be putting in the peppers, but he won't eat these, so I will leave it just like this. And if you were making it, you would just simply close up your tortilla. <laughs> you could grab the edges. And there you go. Beautiful fajitas. All right, let's take a look at our uh, pudding and see how close to done that is. Let's see if I can show it to you. Pudding. Ooh, look at that. <clears throat> that is pretty darn put together. So let me grab a scoop. It looks mousse textured, not pudding textured. I bet it would turn into mousse. Oh, wow. That settled, settled really fast. So being a measured uh, measuring container, I can actually measure out. Let's see. There it is. The half cup right here. I know it's a little harder to see now. Yeah. Well, you see the, the, the one out over it. So pudding is ready. Whoop. Puppy is ready to eat. She's down there waiting for her chicken to fall down in her direction. Oh, yeah. We already said hi. <laughs> Did you say hi, Pumpkin? And she's smiling for you. She just got a haircut yesterday. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Oh, there you go. I wanted to thank everyone for joining me tonight for the demo of the Epicure chicken fajitas and chocolate pudding, guacamole, and salsa. And invite you to go to my website and find something that works for you. Uh, since we are in a party or cooking class, you can go to your host website, which is shared in the description for each and every host. Uh, for me directly, it is just pearl.epicure.com, and uh, you can always go at the top and select your host from there as well. So if you forget the entire link, there are other options. All right, join me in my VIP group, Cooking with Pearl. Have a great night. Bye.